Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Welcome to William's Homestead Kitchen. Right, well, I've been wanting to make for a while is my Aussie meat pies. As you know, we used to have them on the old channel before they got um, hacked by the other channel's friends. So, I'm making it again. I said to Chick, I'll make it up today so it can chill out overnight, and tomorrow make up the pastry, and we make all the pies. So it's really quite easy. So look at this. Three great big ass onions cut up and put inside here. That's these big bastards, big brown ones. So you no know, racist with us guys. White, brown, red, doesn't matter, but three big bastards of that. So one big ass onion to 500 grams of, of uh, beef mix. So I've got just over 500, over around uh, 1.5. So soften all these up. This is so easy, guys. This is some put carrots in there, grated up carrots. I don't like it myself. I like to keep it natural. Some even put um, mushrooms in there as well. You know, but um, for a standard meat pie, I, I cook, no, I don't like that shit at all. Now, it's, I do also like to make it out of um, uh, <coughs> out of um, beef beef cubes. You have a nice brisket or something like that, cut up into cubes, brown it all off with the flour and all that, and uh, soften it down. Then you've got a nice steak pie. That is very nice as well. But today it's gonna to be an Aussie mince pie. Beef mince pie. Right, so let's get him down. Lovely. Right, now for the meat. Right, so there we go. One and a half kgs of beef. Now, Bob and Joy came the other day and she dropped off a nice big pack of premium beef mint. So I'm saving that one. I don't want that one yet. I need to get rid of the old stock first. So sorry, Joy, darling. That one is not being used at the moment. So I'm using up the old stock that we got before. So this is our mince going in now. So we're just going to let that brown and then we'll come back to it. Oh my God, so it's starting to come together. It's sexy now. It's starting to come together, look. So just brown up that meat with the onions, get it nice and sexy, and um, we'll add the gravy to that. Now, like I said, some will add um, red wine, some can add, um, no, always use um, beef stock. Some use Worcester sauce, okay? Some call it all different fucking names, we just call it Worcester. Okay, a bit of Worcester sauce. See there somewhere. My oh, chick's got shit everywhere inside my bloody kitchen. I call it my kitchen because I am the lovely cook where she is the Filipino cook. So it's in here somewhere. Where are you? Okay, don't tell me I used it all on my um, my dish last time. Bastard, bastard, bastard. Oh, fuck my dog. Uh, so every type of fucking sauce thing you poke a stick at. Uh, oh, look, she's got sesame oil. Oh. Here's a good one, mud crabs guys. If you love crabs, especially mud crabs, it does it really good. Swimmers are okay, but mud crabs are better. Big ass pot like this, layer it in sliced ginger, peeled sliced ginger, lay it till it's about an inch thick. Put a couple of liters of sesame oil in there. When it's boiling, and it's boiling fucking rapid, drop your prawns, your um, crabs inside, put the lid on it, bang. Try that. Seriously, you'll say, oh my God, FMD. But back to this. Right, so this is coming okay. Like I said, some, like I said, we'll put all those ingredients. Some will put um, tomato puree in there as well, the tomato paste. Some put that in as well, but um, I like to keep it the way it is because when you have your meat pie, you always cover it with tomato sauce anyway. So why would you want to put extra inside? Right guys, this is coming together absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, if you want, you can even throw some garlic in if you want. Some also put in, um, what's it, this one? The smoked paprika. Some also do that. But you know, you, you gotta get the basics first, you know? Put your onions in, okay? Put your meat in, put your gravy in. That's your standard pie, you know? Like, that's your standard pie. If you start adding all these things, like they put mushrooms into it and carrots into it and, um, like I said, paprika, garlic, you know, like, fuck me, you know? It's not an Italian bolognese you're making, for fuck's sake. All right, here we go, so this is yummy. Now, here's my gravy mix, okay? So, you go to shirt cam. You go to shirt cam. Here's my lucky drawer here. Voila. 
So pour this in, get the spatula, get every drop of that gorgeous stuff out of there, guys. Now if I need, I can add more water to this as I need. Okay, so remember, it's easy to, oh, out with your cam. It's easy to add, fuck's that? It's easy to add, but you can't take out. Remember that. Okay, it's easy to add, but you can't take out. So that's the thing with this. This has got to thicken up yet. All that gravy powder, it's got to make it nice and thick. Something like a dry pie, I don't like that at all. Sort of like yucky, yucky, pooey, yucky. But I do like making it up like today. This is day one. Making it up today and let it sit. And tomorrow, put this into pies. Now, you can use two different things. Now, one, if you people have seen me making my pies before, what a fucking marvellous kitchen you've got, William. Oh, fuck my dog. So some, as you've seen, when I asked, I was in the Middle East and I wanted to make my own Aussie pies because you couldn't get them in Qatar back in them days. Uh, when I went to, when I went to, to live in the UAE, they, um, they did have them there at Spinney's, Australian 4 and 20 pies. 4 and 20 pies, guys. Can you believe it? Ah, come on, bitch. Right, so, ah, hey. Right. So what I ended up doing, I wanted mum to send me some pies. Like, like ones like this, see, just not too big, just a nice size pie. Meat pie, cover it with pastry, put her in, way you go. This is your um, savoury, uh, your sweet ones, that's your savoury, that's your sweet. They're like your apple pies and your tarts. So I asked mum in Australia to fucking send me some, didn't I? I said mum will pay for your, you know your fuel, they'll live in way out of town. And I said Look, when you go into town next, I'll pay for your fuel, give you an extra 20 bucks for your fuel. Buy me these containers, go to the post office, send them here to me in Qatar, and I'll send you all the money you need. So she did, and um, she said, oh, the, its cost is like um, $150 or something like that. And I said, no problem, mum, that's okay. And when it turned out, the, the postage was $110 just for the postage. I thought, fuck my dog, how big are these, you know, these heavy tins? How, what are they? What turned up? She sent me a fucking pie maker. And I said, oh, thank you, mum. Oh, you know, you're lovely, mum. Thank you very much, mum. You know, what I wanted was these pie makers that's what i wanted but not to worry either smile because she's your mama you know so what it is that these ones chick likes these ones they're a nice small size you put the pastry in you put your filling in put the pastry on top close it down like a breville sandwich maker and then later on bang 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 you open it up and there's your pies chick likes them ones i like the larger ones myself but like i said there's many things you can do another way i like it, it also is when you've got your pie container like this you put your pastry inside all right you put your mix in but instead of putting another pastry on top as a lid mashed potato pipe some mashed potato over the top of it and that is your lid that is very nice now it's not a potato pie you know people say oh it's potato pie no because that's got fucking hunks of potato in it but what this is is mashed potato on the top pipe it over the top of it all right, pop it over the top, your mashed potato, and give it a little bit of wash on top. Voila. Right, I'm going to go back to this, guys, and I'll be back at you. Right, so this is, um, like I said, the local beef, which is not really the best. Even though they say, oh, yeah, it's Australian imported beef, it's like, oh, yeah, FMD, guys. So it looks pretty good now, but when this settles, there's going to be a big layer of fat on the top there. So what I'll do is I'll let this settle, and I'll take that fat layer off. Because otherwise it's just you know like a big, big puddle of water on the top you see it's just starting to come together now okay so i'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes then i can drain that one out because the local fat the local beef mate is so fucking fatty they say they say 80 80 20. yeah 80 percent fat 20 percent beef mm. right let's let it go right so you can see all the fat coming up to the top you know look at this look see how much fat you get in the Philippines, guys. All that, that's all the fat. There's no um, no gravy juices there. That's just pure fat, guys. Pure fat. You know. So we'll get this fat off of here. We'll let this settle, and we will be right. Look at it all. So much fat, guys. So much fat. Welcome to the Philippines. And there's all those good things to turn like. Even in Thailand, I could buy fucking fragua in Thailand in the big um, Western supermarkets in Bangkok. And I used to take that back to the Middle East with me. And uh, you get fresh 
full fragoire, or you could get sliced where it was um, 20, 20 slices into a frozen packet. And I'll tell you, chicken, I love the fragoire. I used to make up my own my own cherry sauce and put some um, put some nuts onto the side of it all and um, beautiful biscuits and fragoire, guys. Yep, you get that in Thailand. Can't eat Philippines. Fuck me. But life is better in the Philippines. Where the fuck do you come from? Okay, so that's all the fat taken off. Like I said, a lot of fat in the Philippines, mate. Hey, I know. And I'm not going to go any further with that one, all right? <laughs> You're fucked. No, I'm not going any further with that one. All right, but have a look at that. Look at it all. Hey, look at that container, would you? That's a couple of cupfuls there. So out of my um, 1.6... Um, beef, it was probably one kilo I ended up with beef I lost half a kilo in fat you know, but that's what I'm after now guys that is it that is it now I do have I do have a thing called a fat separator yes, yes no you can't buy it for your wife, sorry guys if you're married to a telly tubby there's nothing I can do about that, mind you but now these things here look now, I've seen these on one of the cooking shows years ago. Now, what it does is you put all your juices in there, like when you're doing a roast or you're doing like this. You put all your juices in there, okay? You just pour them into there. It's got a bit of a sieve on the top to stop all the chunky bits getting inside. And what it does, it will settle. All the fat will float to the top. All the fat will float to the top up here. And this will be left as all your yummy juices in here. And when you squeeze the handle, it will actually pour out from the bottom through the hole there, and you'll see it come down, and when the water level, fat level touches to here, you stop, and it's done. I'll put a link down below in the description. They're very cheap, guys, on Amazon. Very cheap and very, very good. Okay, guys, give you a look, see. All right, pour it into here. Look at that. Okay, any beefy that's left will just float on the top there. We can put it back into the pot. Okay, look at that. Look at that, all that juices. Look, look at it all. All that yummy juice. Look at the fat, get the fat down there, look. Get that fat off. I wake up with the fat every morning. I say, hello, darling. That was my ex-wife. Oh, I shouldn't say that, should I? Okay. Yeah, do you talk to your wife after sex? Only if there's a phone handy. Thank you. All right, let's this settle, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, guys. Right guys, so here we go, look at this, look. See how this is settling down, look at that. So that's all your yummy juices on below, and that's just pure fat on top. So everything I scraped together. Now when I actually pour this out, look, if I squeeze the handle, out come all those yummy juices, and there's the fat. Okay, if you don't want the fat, stop. Voila. There you go. I'll put a link down below. Just one of the little tools I have in my kitchen. You know, I found me proper pie tins. There they are there. That's William size pie, these ones. Tick likes the small ones. You know, I never thought a girl would like the small ones, but I like the big ones myself, guys. I tell you, I like the big ones. Right, so this is going to cool down. And this is the end of day one, guys, of pie making. Because now I want that to go into the refrigerator. I want it to just chill out nicely. Tomorrow, Chick's going to do the pastry. Now, if you've got your own pastry at home where you buy it from the supermarket, you're fucking lucky. But this is the Philippines. You get fuck all here, mate. I'll tell you now. Ah, ah. So, Chick's going to make the pastry which she, um, Joy showed her, the lovely Joy, Bob's wife. And, <coughs> excuse me. Chick's going to make that up and we're going to roll it out and do the um, meat pies. Now, I used to try and make my own pastry pies, but um, somehow the pastry just didn't work for me. All that kneading, folding, buttering, laying, put it in the freeze, bring it back out again, fold it, roll it, put it back in again, do the triangle fold, do the letter fold, fucking all this shit. In the videos I watched on making it, it says, you know, some people just can't get the pastry right, but I'm gonna show you, it's just so easy, anyone can do it. Yeah, well, I fucking can't, I tell you. So Chick's gonna do it tomorrow, she's gonna do the pastry, because it's Sunday. Okay, we're just going to take it easy on Sunday, and I'm going to do a cooking day. So I've got a big roast pork to cook up for dinner, and during the day, I'm going to, in the afternoon, it's going to be pie making. So thanks for watching day one of the pie making of the Aussie cook at William's Homestead Kitchen. Ha ha ha! Catch you later, guys. Oh, don't forget, Tropical Tim's video up here. Have a look at that. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.